after doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish finish off with this. We're talking about commitment today, and it's a and it's an it's an incredible tool for any area of our lives, for business, for relationships, for life in general. Imagine this: going going to work or not. Imagine what your employer looks for in commitment. They look for someone who's who turns up all the time, right? They look for someone that not only turns up, but actually does something when they're there. And the best people that they look for, the ones that they look for the most are the ones that are not only turn up, give their best, um, but also help others. That is an employer, they look for that. Anyone can be committed to, uh, to say, I've got a job, doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna show up in their mind, their heart, and inside that job. Relationships is very similar. Because in relationships, people can be committed to what a marriage or you know, or something similar like that, but it doesn't. But sometimes people will commit and they'll sign the cert certificate, but then afterwards they think they've made it, and so then they won't show up in their mind, in their heart, in their life. Same with friendships; we can take them for granted. You know, some people are more committed than others, and so we just got to be mindful that we are showing up with them, not only just taking them for granted as well. And in life as well, life, the one thing that you and I can ever, 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 ever get back is time. So it's really, really important that we show up for life. It's, it's the overall, because when you and I get to the end of that life, I'm gonna tell you this, no one's gonna ever wish they did, they worked more, cleaned more, that the only thing, or, or other things like that, you know, or had more, more things. You know, the one thing that they're going to wish, two things they're going to wish they're going to have done more. They say, I wish that I'd spent more time with these people, those persons that were important in my life. And I wish that I got to know the world that we are part of, this, this incredible planet. I wish I'd gone places, seen things, taken in more of nature, more of the creation that was given to me. Those are the two things that you're going to wish for. You're going to wish, I guarantee you 100%, Get to the end of your life, not things, not accomplishments even. Uh, it's going to be the people that you spent time with and the experiences that you had on this lovely, amazing, incredible earth that we live on. So if you're going to be committed to something, be committed to learning all your life and experiencing everything that life has in it so that when you can get to the end of your life, you can say, hey, look, I lived this one life. I lived it as fully as I could. And you know what? I'm pretty happy. I have little to no regrets in doing so. All right? I want to wish you all a great day. I want you to make the most of your moments. You know what? Moments added up equal what? Habits. Habits added up equal what? Your life. So make the moments better so that the habits will be greater so that your life will be awesome. And the last thing I want to do is just based on what uh, Peter Jacobson said. And he says, you know what? I will, tra I will translate into my own way. You know what, guys? There is no doing without being. And there is no having without doing. So what does that mean? That means you will not do much if you don't feel great about yourself. That's why personal development is so incredible. And you will not have stuff if you don't do, do much or you don't do anything. That's why it's so important. They're so connected. Become greater so that you will do more and that you will have a great life. Great things to help bless others.